Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still working on this AT3. It's uh, about 44 degrees here today. I thought it was going to be 50, but I guess not. That looks like that's about a week away. But anyway, well, my camera died on me, said it needed a new battery. So we gave it a new battery. And anyway, let's talk about this AT3. It's causing me all kinds of grief. So yesterday, I got my new hose in. It's clear. I got some black stuff. I prefer black, but I, I kind of like it here to test with, with the clear. Because when I turn the uh, gas on, nothing happens. It doesn't, there's nothing flowing down to the carburetor. So I thought, well, possibly the bowl is already full and it just can't let any more in. So I took the screw loose down here and drained the bowl and guess what? Still no gas is flowing. So, huh, I thought, well, did I put the float in upside down? I've done that with the ones that have the two little individual floats that ride on pins sticking up there. But I don't think you can do it with this one. And besides that, I tested it by blowing through it with the carb right side up and then turning it upside down and blowing through, uh, trying to blow through it, and I couldn't. So, I guess I'm going to have to pull the carburetor again, because it just won't pass gas. Anyway, I'll be back once I get the carb off and take a look at it and find out if that float is sticking or if the pin is sticking or what's happening. All right, so I had the hunch that maybe that new fuel filter I put in there was wouldn't work. It's just one of those porous copper ones, and I thought it would. So I put a few inches of uh, premix in this clear line and hooked that to the carburetor. And, well, I hooked it to the carburetor first, obviously. And, guess what? That won't go into the carburetor either. So, either I screwed up inside the carburetor, or something is just sticking in there. So the carb has to come off again. I'll be back. So what did I do? I left the key on and ran the battery down to nothing. So I put the charger on it and I'm going to go have a cup of coffee, take it easy for a while, and I'll be back. Oh yes, I did one other thing. I loosened up this screw down here and let the gas leak out of the uh, float bowl. And guess what? It does let new gas in. So, I'm in a quandary here. That means I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I'll be back after I have a cup of coffee. Well, folks, you might guess by my expression that I'm just a little PO'd. I just got my little AT3. It was running so good. It was 
sitting here idling. And I adjusted the carburetor, adjusted it, was idling at about 1200 RPM, nice and smooth. And I went over and tweaked the throttle once and revved it up and it went bang. It now has zero compression. So something's broke. <laughs> and I'm disgusted. And I'm going to go in and take the rest of the day off. Or I may, may go out and get my uh, V-Strom. <laughs> it's supposed to be warm pretty soon. I'll pull ahead tomorrow and see, or not tomorrow, because tomorrow it's going to be 20 degrees with a wind chill factor of 10. So next warm day, I'll pull ahead and see what I did. Boy, <laughs> that is... Frustrating. It was running so good. Catch you later.